it's Shabbos now Shabbos now And we'll sing I, I, I Na, na, na Hey everyone, this week's Torah portion is Parshat Vayechi. So, Jacob's prestigious life is coming to an end. And before he passes away, he calls his son Joseph and tells him to bring his two grandchildren into his room so he could bless them. So, here's where the story gets a little interesting. Menashe being the older one is by Jacob's right hand. Ephraim is by his left hand. Now, instead of Jacob just putting his hands and blessing them like that, he switches his hands over, putting his right hand on Ephraim and his left hand on Menashe. Why? Yo, 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 you have something on your ear, bro. What? You have something on your ear. Oh. No, 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 the other ear, the other ear. Oh. So there's got to be a reason why Jacob did this. In order to understand this reason, we have to first understand what the names Menashe and Ephraim mean. Wait, wait a second. Menashe, Ephraim, those sound like some super cool names. Hello everyone, I'm Menashe. And I'm Ephraim. And together we are Juperheroes. Juper Heroes. You ever been stuck in a store and you didn't have any coupons left? Have no fear, Juper Hero is here to give you another coupon. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's not get off track. When parents name their children, it's usually after something very important to them. Either a loved one, a very powerful meaning, and so on and so forth. I like naming my kids colors, like green, blue, apple, <laughs> nah, apple ain't a color, apple a vegetable. When Joseph named his children Menashe and Ephraim, he had in mind a very powerful, important lesson for each and every one of us. Menashe comes from the word Nashani, which means to forget. Ephraim comes from Hifrani, which means to multiply and prosper. These two names, forget and prosper, represent very important lifestyles. On the one hand, we have to dwell on the past. We have to remember the mistakes we've made. But on the other hand, why do we have to remember our mistakes? We have to remember them so we could learn from them and prosper and continue living and keep on moving higher and higher and higher. No, 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 no guys, don't get the wrong idea. Not that type of high. And that's why Jacob switched and placed his right greater hand on Ephraim. Because he wanted to teach us that, yes, we're supposed to dwell in the past sometimes. But the main thing is to keep on going forward. A lot of times in our day-to-day -day lives, we get a little too stuck in the past. You know what I mean. I see you. Yeah, you. Who, me? No, I, I mean, in the past, you have called me these names and everything. And, and you keep on saying that I am dwelling in the past and... And it's hard. I, I, I haven't been able to function too much. It's, it's really tough. Stop dwelling in the past so much. Move forward. Go out into the world. Change the world. You could be a Juper hero. Anyways, you guys, you get the point. Thanks for watching. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> ויחולו השמיים והארץ וכל צבעם ויחל אלוקים ביום השביעי מכל מלאכתו אשר